Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Talks 22. So we are here, guys, to do a reading on 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers, who went missing from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Uh, it's been about a month now. Uh, I think that's Sumner County, Tennessee. Um, I initially saw that this young man had been reported missing. And I was like, I'm not going to do that reading. And so a little time goes by and he pops up again on my timeline. And I almost felt like this picture was calling me. Um, you know, it's really tough. <laughs> Sheesh. It's really, I'm trying to get my, I'm going to get my emotions out of it. I'm probably going to pause so I can come back into my center. But it's really tough to do children these types of readings, right? Um, even when I did pull the cards, I got kind of sick. Like people are disgusting. Um, like they can be. I don't want to say they are. They can be because words are powerful, right? But um, people are disgusting. They can be. <laughs> I mean that. I mean that. So the person that I feel that I feel like that about the person that has abducted him because he was abducted. Um, so I. When I say that I feel like his picture called me like to look into it, I definitely got the okay from my spirit guys, my spirit team to check it out. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're here to do today. I purposely have not read any video, any um, news reports or seen any videos. I think that when he popped back up, it was just saying that they were still searching for him. And I was like, what the heck is taking so long? Like, I had expected him to be found. Um, I don't know if that's because he's special needs or because he's autistic, right? But I have a son with special needs. And so this is something that really hits close to home. You definitely worry about them being befriended by people who have, like, malintentions, right? Because they tend to be so trusting of some of everybody, um, the difference I feel like, I feel like a lot of people are blaming the parents and, um, I am aware that the mother, the biological mother and the stepfather is who he was living with. Um, but apparently he has a father who is connected, involved and loving all these things. Right. But he was living with mom and biological, I mean, biological mom and stepfather, um, I did see that they had done an interview, but they didn't show their faces. It was hands only. And so that's what I was wondering. That's a question that I have because I didn't watch the interview. First of all, don't nobody want to just sit up there and look at your hands. Like, come on now. Second of all, you going way out the way to hide your visage, right? So I felt like there was something peculiar about that, but I wasn't concerned enough to listen to um, the interview, I said, you know what, if I'm allowed to look into the case, I'm going to just uh, go cold turkey in, right, without too much prior knowledge. So that's what we're here to do today. I am, you guys know, I have a personal deck that I created. I need to go blow my nose now because I almost lost it. Um, um, I have a personal deck that I created specifically for true crime types of cases um, so definitely going to look at these cards, at those cards. I do feel they're significant. And then I'm going to take a look here f with you guys about what happened the day of his appearance. I mean, appearance, his disappearance. Um, and then I asked spirit separately, well, one about his location, but then also I asked spirit separately, like, why are the parents behaving suspiciously? Right? Because I get that they are not involved directly with his disappearance. Okay? But they are definitely carrying some guilt and likely not telling the public or the police even that mom had a fight with Sebastian. Like they had some type of fight or combat or disagreement. Um, and I don't know when it was, but let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Um... I'm not issuing any disclaimers. Y'all know the deal. You know the vibes um, with tarot readings. I listen to my spirit team. And 
yeah, we're going to go from there. Okay. So of course, let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. So first let's talk about, so I can get these cards back from this, for this deck <laughs> and I don't have to use a new deck, a different deck. But first, um, let's talk about why the parents are acting so suspiciously. And the first card out is the five of wands. It's the five of wands and the queen of cups. The queen of cups is a mother, a mother figure, right? So you see the five of wands, what that looks like. That's a brawl. Um, that's some type of conflict. Let's see what that's about. The five. Yeah. So this is something that happened between she and Sebastian in the home. Okay. I feel like um, with the justice card and the four of wands here, this could have been something that led to him being grounded or punished in some type of way. Could be for sure physical because that's also actually the first card that came out in my personal cards was a physical fight, right? So I don't know if she was getting physical with this young man, but I feel like she felt like there was a sense of justified, like, you know, you're, you're on punishment or you're being punished or, you know, something that he, he felt restricted in. And I feel like whatever it is that was said with this moon card and the ace of swords here, <clears throat> there could have been some things, yeah, some things said that she is not sharing. Like she's trying to hide either what she said or maybe how controlling she was or tried to be with this young man. Part of that is because she feels like she, like this is the reason why he left. And I think she's right. Goosey's going crazy. So she feels like this is the reason why he left. Like she kind of forced him to leave. So I don't know if she said something to him or if it was just the feeling of being restricted. Because we have the King of Swords and Swords and the Hierophant here. So we see somebody here with that Five of Swords. What is that? Who is like, yeah, I got something for you, right? Who... I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's um Sebastian's energy. Yeah, where he immediately kind of went into after this disagreement with his mother, he kind of went into this space of like no, let me fight for my right or whatever it is that I want. So he kind of started went into a plot like like how can I get out from under this person's rule? Right? And I feel like that's what his mother is hiding because she definitely is carrying some guilt about that, about him either wanting to leave or the action that he chose to take. Okay. And she feels like she has lost him as a result of her behavior, which would probably not be looked at favorably. Yeah. Which would probably not be looked at favorably by the public or his dad even. Yeah, but he was definitely like punished or put on timeout. And yeah, and now she, she kind of feels like, um, Either she could have or should have handled something a little differently when it comes to this situation. Or she should have been more focused on him. Or maybe even like needed, needed to be more patient with him. Right? Like she feels like she did something too quickly. And now it could cost her her child. She 
She may also she may also be concerned. Um I don't feel like she's concerned about her romantic relationship, but she may feel like she should have kind of shown up or been more on Sebastian's side about some things, something like that. But there's definitely an energy here of being stressed and overwhelmed, right? And maybe also, um, yeah, she's definitely trying to keep that to herself, which is why likely that they said, nope, let's not even show our faces. Right? Because, you know, the people, people of the internet, yeah, this has been something that's really pain, painful and overwhelming for the family in general. And it, it likely has started some conflict within the partnerships, like the between the parents, the step parent and the true dad. Because now there's this energy of anger and distrust, right? And paranoia here. So, yeah. Oh, Lordy. It's a lot. It's a lot. And y'all know, right? I'm, I'm, I'm typically not the type of person. If I felt like his family did something and I feel like, like their behavior was peculiar, you know, I would not hesitate to say that that's what the hell this looks like. However, I don't feel like that's what this is. Okay. So, let's go ahead and look at these really quick. So here at the, this, this particular spread is specifically about the day from the Kipper deck, the day of Sebastian's disappearance, right? Um, what is Sebastian thinking or what's his perspective here? So we have the sudden wealth card, but the sudden wealth card is in reverse. So I think I want to, I don't know why I put that up. Clarify the Sudden Wealth card in reverse. Because usually when I see the Sudden Wealth card, it's like something that's really working out for you. That's going to be favorable or go your way, right? Be a good thing for you. But it's like finding out with it being in reverse. Yeah, it's finding out that something that I thought was going to be good woo, is not so good. I say I, I am in Sebastian's energy. Um, is not such a good situation. So we have him here in this energy of despair, feeling sad, like they lost something. What is that something? There's like a certain respect for this false person. You see the woman is at the front of this card. So he feels like somebody that he honored, loved, and respected is not who he expected or hoped that they would be, right? Right? So, um, for sure, if they're coming off of a fight, yeah. And who is that? His mother. His mother clarifying that false person. His mother. And it's not that she lied necessarily. It's just that I thought this would be better to be here. Mm hmm I thought this would be, it would be better to be here. Or I thought this was going to be a better circumstance or situation for me, but it's not that. <sighs> Let me clarify here with the false person card. Yeah. My mother and this man, I thought I would be happier here. What about the mature woman, the privileged lady, queen of pentacles energy? And mother figure. Yeah. Who is likely may have an anger issue. This person that I had this argument, this fight with. Yeah. This is somebody who I feel he feels he's been deceived. Like doesn't feel about him the way that he thought. Like he's looking at her in a different light. So whatever this fight was or what it was about. He was angry about it. Um, what's the official person and the un unexpected income? So 
So I feel like this is his plan. I don't know if he had money or had access to money. But he definitely had a plan to like either hide or to run away, right? Because we have, here I am, this overwhelmed energy, feeling defeated in a situation. I'm going to leave my family. It's time for me to move into the next chapter. I'm leaving this house. I'm leaving this these people. And he may have had a desire to get to his father. Or to tell someone. He may have even wanted to go see or visit his dad. Or he felt like, yeah. I feel like there's like a real sense of being aware that, yeah. The family or the situation that I chose was the wrong one. So I don't know if he chose to live with his mom. Or what the custody agreement was with that situation. But whatever it is that I thought was a better opportunity or a better deal or would be for my best, it's not that. And it's not necessarily, well, I was going to say not necessarily because he's being mistreated, but um, he was dealt with harshly. I don't know what the situation was. I'm As a mother of a child with Down syndrome, I'm certainly not going to pretend that they don't need to be corrected, disciplined, or dealt with, you know, sternly like any other child, right? Because they have their ups and downs too. And so, um, corrected as well. And with him being 15 too, I did hear that he was kind of, um, fairly high functioning or on the spec on the spectrum of, um, yeah, like a higher function anyway. So this next card in this next position is, uh, what is the day of his disappearance is what I'm asking about. What is a fact here? And the fact is that there is some type of change. Something has changed here. Okay. So usually when I see Goose is going crazy. Usually when I see this change card, it's almost like, okay, this is the plan or I have a plan, but then something happens kind of abruptly that changes that plan. Right. So that could be like a location change because you see it's got the vehicle and the car there. So look, this is interesting too. Yeah, it's almost like, I don't know if he had a girlfriend um, or if he thought he had a girlfriend or he knew someone that he had a little crush on, like my son likes everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it could be something like that, but whatever it was, it's like, okay, change of plans. I want a new mom kind of energy. I want a new mom. I'm going to have a new mom. And this is somebody who is a friend or that either he already knows or has like this sense of familiarity with. And my family, my family is going to miss me, right? My mom, my mom is going to miss me. They're going to miss me. That bad health card is like, it'll be their loss, right? Yeah. Cause, cause I, here I am going to take my power back. So I don't know if he called somebody. Or if this is just a decision that he made on his own, because I do feel like this was him. Like, yeah, she'll miss me. She'll regret that. Like that kind of energy. And listen, and, and, and y'all be like, oh, they don't act like that. Oh, uh, yes, the hell they do. Okay. <laughs> My son, honey, when he gets mad, baby. He would definitely be like, mm-hmm, I'm going to teach her. <laughs> he definitely do that. But I can also see that that's what it is and most of the time just laugh. Like, really? I don't even care. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even care. Like that. But anyway, 
Um, so here, what is the illusion? Um, I posted a video the other day about an illusion, something that um, is presented as truth, but it is not an actual truth. So we have here this card, the message of concern. Clarify this message of concern. So here's the deal. If he just left walking, right? I feel like it's almost like he didn't know what he was getting himself into. What's this poverty card? Because I don't know if he didn't have any money or, you know, he was like, yeah, I'm going to punish, punish her by disappearing. And he may have felt like it wasn't going to affect him in any, in some way. But I feel like he left the home and ran into some other type of challenge. So let me show you what we have here. The message of concern. We have the poverty card. And for me, this poverty card, you see how this baby's looking, okay? This is like losing a child. Something that's dangerous. Something that's kind of risky. And then we also have the thoughts card. Where um, this masculine energy is thinking about this feminine energy. That's what I want to know. Who's this thoughts? Who's this feminine? So this could be something that, yeah. One that he felt like he could do on his own. It's like, I'll get a job or I'll work. Or I don't need you. I can do this by myself. That kind of energy. But then getting out there and realizing. Like this shit is harder than I expected it to be. Right? That kind of energy. But we also have here the family room and the unexpected income. So what are these cards here? The family room suggests somebody's home. Somewhere where you're comfortable. Maybe even happy. Sharing this relationship. So yeah, again, I feel like this adds to like the energy of, yeah, I'm going to make her miss me or I'm going to make them miss me. I'm going to go off and do what I want or be with who I want. And it's going to be better there. Like, it's going to be better if I move to another situation or into another situation if I try to do something myself. So, it all it definitely feels like the energy of somebody who's kind of fighting for independence where, like, I'm old enough, I can do that, or, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if he wanted to go somewhere or he wanted to talk to someone. Whatever it is, he was not allowed. He was not being allowed to do so. Um... But then I feel like here in this position, we have the house card. This is not his home. This is not his home. This is not his house. Like I said, um, they've been looking for Sebastian for a really long time. And so with this house card, I feel like this is him in this energy of feeling like he had an opportunity. He, 
he was going to live somewhere else or he would get a new house or a new home. But the thing about this particular house is that there are some things that go on in this house that he was unaware of. There, there are some type of secrets. This is not his home. I'm telling you. Somebody approached Sebastian. Somebody approached him. They made him some type of offer here, right? Like, here's a better deal, okay? But there are some things, yeah. Here, I thought this was going to be like, yeah, I hit the jackpot. My ship's coming in. No, it's been a disappointing experience, okay? So this is somebody who offered him some type of help, some type of assistance who approached him in that way. Yeah, I got some work you can do, and I'll give you some money, that kind of energy. But there's something that this baby didn't see about this place or this space or this whole situation. So here we have somebody coming at him. It is. It feels like sexual energy, especially with that Knight of Wands. Somebody coming towards him, perhaps in a more aggressive way, and he feels like, let me defend myself against this situation. Okay. Um, on this particular day, the day that he disappeared, um, when he perhaps realized things were what they were in this situation after he's accepted someone's help or assistance here, he's in this energy or he's maybe even being, being told, like, forget about this. He's feeling like my mom's waiting for me. This expectation card is a card of round trip, right? Like she'll be waiting for me or she'll be looking for me. But it's showing up in the position of what you should let go of, right? Let go of that. Forget about it. So this is likely what someone is telling him. Yeah, they're lying. They're lying. Your mother is not looking for you. She won't be worried. But there's some deception here. Mm, mm, mm. She won't be worried. They're happy without you. That breaks my heart. Nobody's looking for you. I feel like it left him in a place of really feeling defeated. Also scared. Afraid that this was true. Whoever this is, where he has moved into, like this this house, whoever, who, whatever space this place is in. I mean, this place is that he's in. This person's disgusting. They may have gotten a little aggressive or assertive as well. Yeah, and it's a father figure. It's a male, thirty five or older. Likely white, absolutely. Likely white, male, yeah. And I'm just going to say it. Who had sexual intentions with this young man. Okay. I feel like this is someone... That Sebastian was familiar with that like looks at this looks at this person as like a friend could be a family friend or a friend of one of the parents this person's not who they pretend to, pretended to be okay So here, what is helpful now, from Sebastian's perspective, we have the child card. Now, the child card could be about a lot of things. Um, I can't help to notice, but it's number 18. And 18 is an energy of something being secret or hidden or repressed even. 
but the child card can be um an actual child or children. This could be someone who even said that they had children, right? Or yeah, you could be, you could be my child. I'll adopt you or something like that. It's also connected to something new um or something small, right? It's definitely an energy here of feeling vulnerable. Let's clarify the child number 18. Yeah, this is somebody who knows that they don't have an upper hand in this situation, who is becoming aware that they don't have the upper hand and also feeling kind of defeated in this situation. Like there is no way out here. I don't know what's going on. What's happening here. And I'm feeling alone. Oh, apologetic. Definitely wanting to return home to mom. This breaks my heart. Definitely wanting to go back to mom. Wanting to be reunited with family. And just feeling confused about this situation. Oh my goodness. So this position, no, what is not helpful. So when I saw this card, we have the gift card, right? It's like something being presented to you as like a good thing was not a, is not a good thing because this is like what is not helpful right now. And again, you can see the setting in on this card. This is like a fireplace and a picture on the wall. This is somebody's home, but this is not helpful right now. Somebody, baby, this young man is being kept in somebody's home. That's the part that really pisses me off. I don't feel like Sebastian is deceased. Yeah, maybe, um, you know what? And he may feel like it's not helpful to try to escape this situation or to run. I don't know because he doesn't really know either doesn't know where he is or where he would be. And then also too, you got to think if you just trusted somebody and you were, I say he doesn't know where he is or where, where he, where he is right now um, because of these two cards, right? So this is one kind of trusting the unknown, kind of not really knowing where you're headed, but going that way anyway. So this could be someone who, Moved him or removed him. Like, I don't know how to get back to my mother here. So it's like where I wanted to get away. That has turned out to be not such a good idea. I'm looking at that at a, as, at a different perspective, from a different perspective now. And... This new situation doesn't align with what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Now I'm attached to this thing or this situation that I don't really want to be in. So something that I thought was going to be good turned out to be not so much that. And it's almost like... While he would like to fight this situation, it, uh, there's an energy of defeat. I'm not happy here, and I'm looking back at the past. Like I don't, I'm not happy in this situation. This shit was not a gift at all. Okay. And then, lastly, the final result on this first day is this number thirty-five. Um, also, guys. Initially, with this gift card, I got that he could have been given something like, hey, you want something to eat or you want something to drink? And it could have been laced with something that kind of created some type of some type of further confusion for him. The 
the final result here. Is the pathway card? <clears throat> I have to drink some water. So I feel like this is some type of transformation. Definitely carries an energy of confusion. It's like <clears throat> things have changed, right? Um, what I want to say about the pathway card. It could be like, okay, something, something has happened where he feels like that, like distance is going to be changing, right? So this could be someone who got him in the car who lied to him, first of all, to let him know, like, I'm going to take you back to your mom. Told you they were going to take them back to their mom. Take back, take him back to his mom. You'll be together. You'll be with her soon. But this actually is something that put more distance between him. There's an energy of travel, of relocation. And they likely drove. And so then realizing like, hey, this is not where my mama is, right? What, what it is you are seeing is like, what? That's not what this is. This is heartbreaking to me. That's not what this is. You took me somewhere else and put further distance between me and my family or someone who cares about me. That's so sad to me. I probably said this stuff in a really nice way. Um, let, so let me show you here what I got. I got the physical fight, right? Um, I also got the card. They're not who you think. And run away. Let me clarify this. They're not who you think. So I feel like this is Sebastian's energy. Perhaps with his mother. Because we got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So he may feel like somebody is angry. Um, my mother doesn't see something about this person or this situation. This is not the happy home that I thought it was going to be. Somebody's super harsh here. He felt like he had to defend himself or he was on the defense or he may have felt like mother defended someone or their actions. But this is, I mean, this is mother's energy. I feel like stepfather is not even really a factor in this situation. Like when it went down. Yeah, so it's like, here I am. I'm wanting to get away. I'm wanting to get away. I want to be with my dad. With that King of Pentacles energy. And here I am doing something impulsive where I kind of take that matter into my own hand. Or she won't take me. I'll figure out how to get there. That kind of thing. And then it leads to... The runaway energy. There is some envy or jealousy. Let's see who that is.
Okay. So, stepdad. Hold on. That's not. <clears throat> hold on. Let me get my water. Hold on. So, spirit, you see how spirit said, ah, don't say that. That is not stepdad. I feel like this is the masculine energy that presented this offer to this child. That, yeah. It's almost like, what do you mean you want to go, you want to be with your mother or you want to go be with your dad? So somebody, somebody presented this situation where it's like, oh, I thought I was going to be your new dad, but that wasn't his motive or his intention at all anyway. So it's showing up as like some type of jealousy or envy of him wanting to get, be connected to his parents. And him and this toxic evil energy of trying to manipulate this child. Having this child in this defensive energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next card out is abuse. Physical, sexual, or verbal. Um, I did ask specifically when I was pulling out these cards, right? Um, I only wanted the cards that were specific to his disappearance, right? So I don't want to know anything else that has where things are going on in their home uh, unless it is specifically connected to his disappearance. <sighs> so just know that. <laughs> Clarifying abuse. So this may be what he, he could have in, in experienced some type of verbal abuse in the home, for sure. And it could have been like norm, the norm. And this is from the stepfather, for sure. I don't want to say from the stepfather. I want to take that back. Who's this king? Mm. Okay. Okay, I'll say from both. <laughs> but shit, that ain't no better. Look, y'all see, I'm so angry because I'm just cussing. Maybe they cuss a lot in the home. I really don't. <laughs> so it's very odd, and you know this by my readings, for me to have this type of... I feel like it's happening kind of frequently. But I feel like this is both parents. Both parents, not necessarily dad, but the ones that are in the home. It's showing up as the king and queen of swords and an aggressive energy because we got that knight of swords, aggressive behavior. Something about the communication here with that physical, uh, verbal abuse. Next, we do have abduction, kidnapping, right? This could be a couple, guys. 
This could be a couple. A masculine energy who had a feminine energy helping him or working with him. What's the queen here? Yeah. They presented like normal, regular people. Nurturing. Let us help you. Likely picked him up because we have a, the car again, the chariot here. But the feminine energy was kind of looks like just used to get Sebastian to like let his guard down. Okay. To really kind of gain the upper hand or control in this situation. This next card, guys, I thought was pretty interesting with the girlfriend card. So I was asking my team, like a girlfriend, like he had a girlfriend. No, he did not. Someone may have presented that situation. Or like, um, yeah, I got somebody you I'd let you meet. Or like, yeah, there's a girl back at my house that that's going to like you or something like that. Something really odd about it. But it was complete deception. Seven of Swords energy. Seven of Swords energy. Which was deception. Deceitful. I feel like this is like more than one person though. At least two. Definitely two. Not at least. Two plus Sebastian is what it feels like. Look, there's the lovers right there in the home. <sighs> With that king of wands. So something's not so traditional about this situation. Something is not so traditional about this situation. But that may be something that is used kind of as a lure or to get Sebastian to stay calm. Yeah, I got two yeses right there. To get Sebastian to stay calm. As a lure for sure. I mean, it's disgusting because I don't understand. First of all, a freaking child. Second of all, like, why are you disgusting? Just why are you disgusting? We also have, I'm not going to clarify all these because I'm getting mad. We have the fake friends and family. So I feel like we, we've already seen what that's about. We have someone over giving, a giver here. Okay. We also have the pedophile. The pedophile. Um, this next card that came out, yeah, I don't feel like this is the case. Because I definitely still have him as being alive. But it could be something that they contemplated. Because I know the search for him, like, spanned a long way. Covered a lot of ground. But again, I don't feel like he is still in Tennessee. What's this? Horrible card. Oh. So yeah, I feel like this this is like one of the options. This could be something that was threatened on this feminine energy. Or was done something that was done 
that was bl that bl blindsided. So I do feel like somebody is gone from this equation, but it's not Sebastian. It's not Sebastian. So likely someone, yeah, we're going to hear about that probably. Mm-hmm, who's that? Mm-hmm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Yeah, so clarifying this Empress, we have the tower here. People are crazy. This is somebody who might, might have been buried somewhere. Like they traveled and yeah. Mm-hmm. Covered this up. Covered this up. And I feel like it was an attempt to, yeah, baby, listen, to isolate or to trap the child, right? This could be someone who felt like the girlfriend, this this couple energy, their the feminine energy would help the person. I mean, would help Sebastian, not the person. You know what I'm saying? Like this feminine energy would help Sebastian escape or turn on the masculine energy. What is this particular card? We have, you're looking at this wrong. So this is what I feel. Yeah, listen, this is what I feel. You're looking at this wrong. Clarifying it. We have the eight of swords here. You see this person is bound or trapped. Yeah, because I feel like, I don't know if they are looking for him to be deceased. Or they're... Suspecting the family or have the family on defense, but I don't think that's the case. Okay. It's that's not the case. There may be also someone here or someone that they may have been familiar with. But like this person may be presenting as someone who's either trying to help this case or this situation. Who is this Knight of Cups? See? Whoever it is they're presenting themselves to be, they're also hiding something. What's the night? What's the night here? Yeah, this is so, baby. This could be someone that's like, yeah, I'm helping with the searches, but it's like they have ulterior motive. They have an ulterior motive. They're trying to stay like ahead of the curve to stay caught up to get any information that may be. Amen. That's scary as hell. That's scary. We also have this card rejected. Tell me about rejected.
So yeah. We have an offer being presented here. Somebody didn't want to do something or didn't want to go along with something. Didn't want to put an effort into something. And it likely resulted in some type of aggressive energy. We got the page and the knight of swords. And feelings of disappointment. And now also I'm in a guarded space. Because what just happened? That's how it feels. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Because what just happened here? And now I'm over here like, what? Because somebody did I say I'm over here. I'm talk, I'm saying Sebastian's over here looking at this situation like what is ha what just happened? Oh my gosh, they are traumatizing this baby. So then something was presented as an accident or accidental, but it was like premeditated. Okay? Clarifying the accident. So this could, this could be whatever took place in front of him with this feminine energy. Yeah. But whoever this is that did this or however this went, went, went down... Yeah, I don't feel like it was something that was accidental. This is something that someone had already thought about. And they were trying to, like, cut their losses, so to speak. Or control the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, again, it's something that if they'd already thought about. I also have here the overdose card. And we know what the overdose is. Like I said, I feel like they gave him something initially anyway to kind of control him. So there is too much of something. Uh, it's connected to that same Empress energy. Child, that could have been the masculine energy or the feminine energy. The two people that have him or that he was with, one of them is no longer or no more. Because of something that was done to like eliminate the third party. Mm. that's all I want to say on that I don't want to stay in this energy as long as I have this was not supposed to be this long there's definitely also an energy of stress and overwhelm 
But last but not least, the truth uncovered or revealed here. So when I saw that card, I asked my my eighteen. Um, is that what this means? Will this be something that comes to light? And I feel like it is or it will be. But, yeah, I feel like there will be some type of good news around this situation. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be sooner than later. It's still been a really long time. Still been a really long time to be without your child. But this may be as soon as like the solar eclipse. Sometime in this spring or the summer. Yeah. I feel like this baby is going to be so traumatized, though. I do not feel like he has crossed over. Um, I feel like that's all I want to touch on here. Um, but this baby is nowhere. I don't feel like he's anywhere near Tennessee. I hope this story is getting national coverage. Because he is not in Tennessee anymore. Also, I just saw like in my head with there being him being like confused about some things. If he needs glasses, those glasses probably have been taken or destroyed. And I'm just I'm just gonna leave it there. They need a picture of him without his glasses. I don't know why the hell I just said that because none of those were pictures of glasses. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'm praying they find Sebastian. 